Forty years ago, a scientist brought African honeybees to Brazil, hoping to breed a more productive hybrid. When the bees escaped his lab, they spread quickly. Africanized bees will attack anything they perceive as a threat. A toy dog reveals how they retaliate when they're disturbed. Imagine what they would do to a human. Aggressive and belligerent, they've been dubbed killer bees. April 8, 1997, was a hot spring day in Casa Grande, Arizona. Seventy-one year old Frank Garcia and his two sons were cleaning up a rental property, preparing it for new tenants. Hey, take care of my truck. As his sons headed off to the dump, Frank sought the cool shade of a quiet porch. He thought he was alone, but he wasn't. He barely noticed the bees at first, and certainly didn't see them as a serious threat. But when he instinctively swatted at one, Frank may have sealed his own fate. These were no ordinary honeybees. They were killers. When a dying bee sends a signal to the hive, it provokes the entire colony to attack. Overwhelmed by thousands of the stinging insects, Frank struggled to the house next door, desperately seeking help. The Elam family heard his cries, but they weren't prepared for what they saw. We heard a knock at the door, and my wife Mary answered the door, and she screamed. Help me, somebody! Help me! Help me! And so I got up, went over to see what was wrong, and he was just completely covered, his head and his open neck area was just completely covered with bees. In fact, it looked like he was growing bees out of his head. My first reaction was, what, what can we do for this man? Uh, he needs help, but if we bring him in the house, then are we just going to be bringing all those bees in here and getting all of us stung too? I had to do something. I couldn't leave the man there to die on my front porch. I'm going to grab my veil. So I put on a wedding veil and went outside to try to do something to help Mr. Garcia further. I grabbed the water hose and began spraying the air around him, hoping that that would get the swarm to disperse or leave him alone somehow. And that still didn't seem to be working. The bees were still swarming all over him. My mom, meanwhile, had taken over the phone, and she was speaking to the 911 operator. When we received the call, we were thinking that it was just a single bee sting. We had no idea that it was as serious as it was. When we first pulled up on scene, for a split second it ran through in my mind, should we get out? Should we put ourselves in danger? But then a sense of duty came over and I just jumped out and my adrenaline took over. I approached the patient, he was completely covered with these bees. It looked like a carpet of bees just completely covering him. I looked around and nobody was helping me, nobody was coming around. I turned back, I looked at my partner, and I said, Somebody gonna help me! Okay, ready? I'm ready, man. Ready? One, two, three, three, go! These were the most aggressive bees I have ever seen. They were dive bombing me. They were striking me like rocks. They were hitting me on the top of the head, on the back, on the neck. There were hundreds of bees still on him. try to get my partner to help breathe for him while I was checking for a pulse. At that point, I opened up his mouth, and then when I looked in, I saw the most horrible thing I've ever seen in my life. His mouth was completely full of bees. He had probably a hundred bees or more in his mouth. So I began scooping bees out of his mouth, and I was just pulling them out by the 20s. 30s. I mean, it was just incredible. Uh, he had bees coming out of his nose, he had bees coming out of his ears, and it was uh, pretty creepy. 